All right, so today I'm gonna to do a 12 by 12 inch Alla Prima oil painting. It's gonna be a cityscape of Hyde Street in San Francisco. Okay, so I am starting out by sketching in burnt sienna as usual, just thinning the burnt sienna with a bit of odorless mineral spirits and trying to map out the big shapes here. Uh, no detail at all, just uh, sort of looking at the shapes of the buildings on the right, the buildings on the left, and then also the street. And then I look at the cars, uh, the parked cars, I kind of look at that, uh, them as one unit in a way, and then I'll divide them up later. Um, so I'm kind of making a few adjustments compositionally, like um, I reduced the size of that tree to the left. It was a little bit too big, kind of coming out into the center of the panel. So I reduced that. Um, and now I'm starting in to establish the darks. I always work dark to light. And, um, you know, and then I just estimate the colors. Working dark to light, estimating colors, and trying to get fairly close values on the first pass. But I know that I'm going to have to come in and darken, uh, reinforce the darks. But the first step is just to get the whole panel covered. And then I can kind of see where I, where I stand. And I'm keeping an eye out on the light areas because I'm going to key the painting to those light areas because I can't get any lighter than, um, you know, white with a bit of yellow or a bit of uh, permanent rose in it. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but the buildings to the right have a little bit of pink in them as well. So I want to establish a feeling of light before I start putting any detail into this at all. Um, so yeah, the first, the first part of the process, obviously getting the drawing, getting the shapes in the right location, um, and, but then just estimating colors. Ultimately, I'm gonna end up darkening the sky quite a bit just to make those buildings really stand out. Um, that's something that I've been noticing lately or that I've been doing lately is almost artificially darkening the sky to make um, the light portions of the painting really pop out, really stand out. So um, here I'm just like coming in with a, this is this is kind of interesting. This is number four. Um, I've got a number four uh, synthetic flat and it's kind of a precision brush. And uh, if you turn it on an edge, you can get, you can sort of get lines with it. But um, yeah, I start, I scrubbed in the first portion with a bristle like kind of a large bristle um, flat, like a number eight. And then I came in with this smaller number, it might be a six actually, a number six synthetic flat, which is more precision. Um, and there you can see, I'm just taking that dark area that was the cars and just sort of suggesting the reflection on the hoods. I am trying to keep this painting very loose. Um, and so the goal is to have a nice feeling of light and then also, uh, you know, nice brushwork and good color. As you can see, I'm kind of pushing color. I'm not staying true to the color. I'm looking for little hints of, you know, um, uh, color and then I'm pushing those. I'm exaggerating them and, um, you know, kind of pushing the warmth as well. All right, so here is what I finished up with. Um, I did add the details, like I added the, the uh, tracks. Those are cable car tracks on the street. A lot of times the details are what really sort of ties the whole thing together. Did suggest some headlights on the cars and tail lights as well. And I did darken the sky a bit. Actually, in real life, the sky looks darker. I'm noticing on the monitor that the, there's not as much contrast between the buildings and the sky. Um, the edges aren't super clean. You know, they're kind of irregular here. Um, and I like that. Also, some of that drawing is, is popping through. Some of the orange of the drawing popping through. Those are nice little bits of warmth as well. I tried not to use a straight edge. Uh, which was difficult with these windows here. I just wanted to suggest little windows, but I didn't want to get the straight edge out. So I just tried to, you know, um, avoid it at all costs, actually. I might lighten some of these shadows here uh, against the buildings. Um, 
or just kind of mess with the pattern. The pattern might seems a little bit awkward. Also too, another thing I added was there was sky reflected in some of the windows. So having those little bits of, you know, warm reflection um, in these, in this you know, dark portion of buildings, I think really added a lot. Uh, I like some, some of these blurred edges here and just how the paint is applied. Um, just very loose. And then you can see the cars, you know, just, just suggested. Brushes I use, the first one is this worn out flat. Uh, this is just a natural bristle, number eight. I kind of scrubbed in the whole thing with this. And then I use this number four synthetic uh, flat. And like I said, when you turn it on edge, you can really get some nice lines with it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. A uh, big thank you to my Patreon supporters. It's the Patreon support that keeps me making these videos. Um, there's a Patreon link in the description. Other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video.